Hi, my name is Johan Bernil and I'm here with InsideCycling.tv. Johan, what type of comforts do you bring from Belgium when you go on tour? Any comforts from home? You know, I'm, I miss Belgium, I miss my family because I, my, my sisters and my brother and my mom live in Belgium. I don't miss the weather, that's why I moved to Spain, one of the reasons. Um, so, you know, comforts from Spain I try to bring when I, whenever I travel and one of, one of the comforts I'm trying to always take with me is the siesta, but unfortunately that's not always possible to do, due to my right. schedule. You're a legend in, this, in, in the business aspect of this, uh, the Donald Trump, so it, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, was there a turning point in your career where you really had a moment where you and Vision changed everything for you? Um, that's a difficult question. Um, if I look back now on what happened in, in, in certain key moments of my career, I think um, the biggest changes that happened for me were based on, on just decisions from, you know, how I felt. That's the way I retired when I retired as a cyclist. Uh, I did it from one day to the other because I didn't feel good anymore about what I was doing. I mean, I was 34 and I retired because I was injured and I didn't want to go on till the end of the season. And so I decided, you know, even if I don't know what I'm going to do next week, I'm retiring now. Um, for some reason, you know, things happened at that moment. And then, you know, by coincidence, I got in contact with Lance three weeks later. And another three weeks later, I was the director of, of Postal back in the days. It was a small team. but was a very important change in my life. And um, uh, if I look back, there's different moments like that in, in, in my life that, that, you know, I decided, okay, this is what I want, this is the way I feel about it, this is what I'm doing. So gut, and, more gut instinct or a little yes. bit of luck or both? Yeah, no, I think, I think, I think a lot based on intuition. Uh, I'm trying, I try to follow how I feel with, 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 this, with important decisions. And, and I think if you feel good about it, you give it some thinking, I mean, you cannot jump off, off, off a cliff because you feel like you have to do it. You have to find it, you have to uh, have the solution how you have to land, how you will land. But um, speaking uh, of land, landing Team Radio Shack in this environment, in, in our current socioeconomic turmoil, good for you. Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to have, to have met Radio Shack and, and found them interested in, in sponsoring a cycling team. You know, from the past, I know finding a sponsor is not easy, and a committed sponsor as Radio Shack even more difficult. So uh, yeah, we're very fortunate, especially in this climate, that uh, you know Radio Shack is on board for this new adventure. Seated to your right this afternoon was what? What's his name? Um, the guy from Texas? Yeah, uh, Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, what, I asked him a question, and he was stumped. Mm -hmm. He didn't Can expect you, it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. Can you answer that question? If you were for me bicycle, or for him. For you, you can't crawl inside his head. We know that, or maybe you can. I would be. Uh, for me, it's easy. I would be the handlebars, because that's the, that's that's the way you determine which direction you go. You're a badass. Uh, now, when I asked it of him, were you were you thinking immediately? I wish I could speak for him. I'm trying not to, and I actually, I, I mean, I, I didn't even think uh, he's going to say this or this because you know a guy like Lance. Although we, we worked together now for 11 years and uh, there's always moments where he keeps surprising me. So I expected for him to come up with a surprise, but he did, he did not. Yeah. So well, he's going to come back to you with an answer that right. makes sense. I think it's probably better that he didn't have an answer because now we have this cliffhanger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because a lot of people either are totally stumped by it or they immediately yeah. have an answer for yeah, it. Yeah, I think, yeah. In my case, uh, definitely the handlebars because I like to be in control. I love it.